Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give a little bit of background on what book snaps are, how to create them, and I'll show some examples too. So why don't we actually start with some examples? So I have some examples here of book snaps that people have made of Tech With Heart, and they can be as simple as taking a picture of your annotations. You can mock them up a little bit digitally and you can get really fancy with them. So the goal of this is really for us to share what parts of the book are resonating with us in a visual way. And also by using some of the strategies that I'm gonna show in this video, hopefully you'll learn a tech skill skill or two that will be applicable in your teaching. I think book snaps are so powerful to use for professional development and also for students in the classroom because it's a way to add a little bit of personality. You can see all the different styles that are coming through with the different people who created these book snaps. So students can give a little bit of their personality. They can let their creativity shine in a way, but also we can just see what sections of the book are really resonating with people and we can comment on them. And so there are a lot of elements that go into making book snaps really collaborative and making the communication happen beyond just sharing a photo. But in this video, I'm really going to just focus on how to create one of these using Canva. So let's go into Canva and let's go ahead and do, I'm going to just do a custom size and I'm going to do four by six create a new design. Doesn't have to be that, but that's just a pretty good size for what I want to do here. I'm going to go into uploads and here you can just upload any photo. So the first step would really be to take a picture of whatever section of the book resonated with you and then you can pull it in. So here is one that actually somebody had marked up that they had shared with me. All they did was highlight it and send me the picture. Now I'm going to pull that into Canva and I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. If you hadn't highlighted the book, say you don't want to annotate your book directly, you can do those things right here in Canva. So I could just go to the draw tool and I can choose the highlighter, for example, and I could mark up my page. You can also change colors here. So if you didn't want yellow and you wanted a blue color and you can also change the line thickness here. And what's important is you can change the transparency because maybe if you highlight it, actually that looks pretty good, but if it was too dark, for instance, you could pull down the transparency and highlight it and you'll see that that adjustment is made. So maybe, you know, if you chose a different color, like a red, that's really nice to be able to tone down the transparency like I did there. All I did was use the draw tool and I chose the highlighter. And then in order to get to the transparency, just go to here where it's like the line thickness and you can change the line thickness and also the transparency. If you wanna delete anything, you can just delete it. You can also use this button right here to select it if you need to move any of your highlights and you can even resize them. All right, let's go ahead and delete those highlights that I added for now. So maybe here, I wanna say something about, you know, giving voice to everybody. You could add in some fun elements. Let's go ahead and do a microphone, press see all, and you could add that, add some personality to your book snap and also what's really, what you're thinking about. Here it says like equal voice, so maybe I'm putting a microphone here. Maybe I'm thinking about that it's really amplifying all voices, so I wanna put that in. You can also rotate, move it around. Say that you want people to really just focus on what is highlighted and you don't want people to focus on this top part. You could also add just a rectangle, add a shape here, and you could block out what you don't want people focusing in on. And you can change the color of this. You can even just pick up the color of the gray that was here by clicking on the add a new color and click on the eyedropper and then click somewhere there. And obviously there's some gradient in the book page that was taken, but that is like that. And then I could move this back on top to make it on top. You can just click on layer, bring to front. If you need more subtle adjustments, you can show layers, but bring to front is all I need for right now. And I can put that on there. And maybe I wanna add in a little bit of text. 
Go over to text. Let's use add a subheading. That should be a nice size for me. Let's move it over here, adjust it. And maybe you want to say, you know, providing voice and choice is what's resonating with you. Just add a little bit of context maybe so that you can share with people what you're thinking about as you're reading this, like how it really resonates with you. And then there's great fonts available in Canva that you can choose from. Maybe you have a favorite font of your own. You can go ahead and just choose whatever you're feeling like and you can adjust the color. These colors that it picks up here at the top or whatever it sees in your document, since I had pulled in that hot pink is showing up there. And those are the basics. You can also use the draw, of course, if you want to kind of black anything out, you could scribble it up. So say, choose black. Let's make the transparency thicker and you could kind of do something like a blackout type of poetry. That is a sometimes popular activity you may have seen. I don't really wanna black that out. I'm gonna undo that. But yeah, you can really just play with the elements here. You can also search for sticker type things. If you really agree with something, you can put that in and even adjust the color to make it match your theme. So that's the basics of how you can make a book snap. Again, let's look at the examples that I was showing. Some of them were very fancy, like this one was kind of almost making a poster. You can see that they put a background and they gave it a title. They just put a little snippet from the book. So you could snippet the book like this. So go over here, if you click on it, you can just adjust the edges like this and you can crop just like that. So that would be another way to do it instead of adding a rectangle on top like I had done. And they also added a full text box here about why it really resonated with them. In this one, the person highlighted a section and then added their own Bitmoji to give it a little personal spin. On this one, similar, this was a page that they really wanted to reflect on and remember, and also told us why this was really important to them. Again, added a Bitmoji. This one again, looks very much like a poster almost that this person has created. On this one, they really just highlighted something and took a picture of it and added where in the text it was from, so maybe they could refer back to it. This one looks like they digitally highlighted and added a little sticky note on top. And this one was all done manually, just taking a picture. So these are all great examples of how book snaps can be done and you can put your own personality on it and make it different. But here's how you can use Canva to create it. If you are done with your book snap and you want to share it, you can press on share. If you wanna share the Canva directly, you can press a view only link and then you can copy that and kind of share it to social media if you wanted to, or you can just share it and you can download it and then you can download it as an image, either as a PNG, which is a larger image or a JPEG. All right, I wanted to keep this rather simple with some examples, some inspiration, and some simple ideas for making your own book snap in Canva. I hope this made good sense and that you have fun creating.